Hey everybody, we're back once again, and today <laughs> returning is the Marlin 8 with a new Challenger, the Roscoe 6. We'll talk about some of the differences and similarities and figure out who these bikes are actually made for. Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out of Arizona and you are watching another amazing episode of Bike Showcase on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host, Brandon Brandleuven. Brandon, how you doing? <laughs> right? <laughs> Tony, I gotta switch back to caffeinated coffee, dude. Run with it. This is Brandon Van Leuven. I know this. <laughs> That's all right. How you doing? I'm doing well. All right. It's good. And once again, we're at the Check Bicycle <laughs> Store in West Phoenix. This is where the cool kids hang out. And me. And today, we've got a different bike with one that you saw in the last head-to-head -head competition, the Marlin 8, but we're gonna compare it against the Roscoe 6, talk about some of the similarities, talk about some of the differences and who these bikes are for. Brandon, take it away. I think this is a great comparison because we're looking at two very similarly priced bikes. That's why I wanted to put these two head-to-head. Yep. If you had a little over a thousand bucks to spend, these are your two best choices for Absolutely, absolutely. $1,300 and $1,200. Doesn't get closer than yeah, that. Yeah. It does, but and for, although they're very for different states. bikes, yeah. again, they'll be fun and they're right, they, they price match. Yeah, absolutely. Almost. So, well, let's start out with the front and work our way back like we did last okay. time. All right, let's start out with the rim set. What's the rim set? And obviously, if you guys can't see, definitely yeah. a fatter tire. Now, right. I wouldn't call it a fat tire, a plus size tire. Right and a regular trail tire. Uh, size tire. So this one is all ready to go tubeless. That's a Kobe TLR okay. with an icon that's ready to go tubeless. Okay. The Roscoe has a tubeless compatible rim, Okay. but not tubeless compatible tires. Okay. So you would have to, at some point, switch those out to go tubeless. Right. Rim tape it, valve sealant, all that stuff. So it Good doesn't stuff. come out of the box ready to go tubeless. Okay. A little bit of a bummer on that. But a little bit, but for the price point, is to be expected Correct. as far as this line of bike goes. And I will say this, ride it until the war out, guys. Get your money's worth. Yeah, I think so, too. And then That's you can upgrade to, yeah, a, a good uh, yeah. tubeless tire. But just a totally different platform. I mean, the, yeah. the wheels is the best place to start because right. we're looking at a plus-size wheel. They're, they have two very different intentions. This one is more for uh, capability, traction, yeah. comfort, where this is more meant for speed. Yeah, you're going to get a much more supple ride on this set right, right here. Right. So it'll get you through the sand, it'll get you over the rocks mm -hmm. easier than, than that one will. Absolutely. But it is slower. Yeah. Um, oh, what was that one? Side note, guys, really quick. It was at the stash that it was the big fat tire truck bike. Mm -hmm. And just friggin' uh, I saw one of those <laughs> yesterday. I was like, oh man, that's cool. It was like black and purple. Yeah, it, the it stashes was, are awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Bring back the stash, Trek. <laughs> Bring back the stash. Not this stash. It's called Roscoe now. Yeah, it's called the Roscoe. <laughs> it is what it is. So, yeah. all right. So let's talk about the brakes, and then we'll move into the suspension. Okay. Disc brakes on both of these. Disc brakes. Are we talking four piston or two piston? These are going to be uh, two piston brakes. Two piston yeah, brakes. This, okay. I'm not sure if we mentioned that last time. Yep. Um, and then we've got the, the same brakes. Same brakes. Mm -hmm. um, and these are going to be SLX. Uh, MT200. MT200. They're, they're Shimano okay. entry level. They're, they're non-series. Okay. okay. They're okay. Got the Judy, 100 millimeters of travel. Air fork. Air fork, mm -hmm. um, with some adjustability up here, yeah, not a whole lot, but you get a little bit to uh, customize the ride. And again, Judy, that, that series has been around forever. Yep. That's a, a meat and potato series for Rock Shock for sure. And then on the Roscoe we have- I'm not gonna lie to you, that fork sucks. <laughs> okay. It's a Suntour fork, it's coil. Oh. Um, it, it's, it's heavy as hell. Okay. So if you had to get this, one of the things that you would set your sights on would be upgrading that upgrading fork at it. some point. Okay. Um, but it is a boost fork. It is a, a 110 okay. through axle. It's got something going for it. Right. Um, through axle. This one. Clincher. But um, yeah, if you've been if you've been doing this a long time, you probably yeah. wouldn't be stoked on that fork. Okay. So now as we go up to the cockpits, similar, similar layout. Similar cockpit, yeah. Um, we've got shifting. We've got... Uh, Shimano. This one's Dior. Dior. Yep. Okay. So it's so. a um, 1146 on this one, 10 speed. Okay. So 
Good stuff. My stuff to yours. This is, is gonna be a one by twelve though. That is a one by twelve. Which is nice. You get two 10, extra. 50. Yeah, you get two extra and, clicks. Um, if you watch the video before this one where we did the X Cal A, I said we went up there. Yeah. I put my glasses on. It's an SX. Oh, so SX. Eagle SX. Eagle on this SX. One. It looks like a G when I don't have my glasses on because everything looks like wah, G's. Wah, and... wah. Well, at least I know now. And actually, <laughs> because I know now and I haven't edited the other video, I will put a banner that says Brandon was wrong. <laughs> it's SX, not GX. So All right. at least that mistake will be Fair quick. Enough. Yeah, in fact, that goes. All right, so similar cockpits, shifters, brake and everything. We yeah. come to the cranks. We're going to have a SRAM SX crank SX. with an FSA crank over here. They're Pick both, your poison. They're both square tapered. They're both probably at the same right. level of quality. One by drivetrain. It's square tapered and they're... Yeah. Eh. They're okay. Dropper post. No dropper no post. Dropper Back to post. that, which is nice. So you're getting a dropper post here right out of the gate. And remember, if you want to upgrade to a dropper post on this, you can internally route it to a point, but then you're going to have to go with an external post PNG. Again, link's going to be down below. We're not sponsored by them or anything, but they make a great dropper post. Yep. I love their stuff. Now, internally routed dropper post on this one. Yeah, right, which is nice. Super clean. That's nice. So now as we're going to the back end, We've already talked about the cassette. It's a one by 10 where this yep. is a one by 12. We got Dior derailleur, which we have an SX, SRAM SX derailleur on this one. Um, and then they both have a modest set of pedals that's included. So now let's talk about the frames, mm -hmm. um, the differences or the similarities in the frames. Yes. So uh, starting with the Marlin, we have a non-boosted uh, Alpha Series Silver on that one. Okay. With a non-tapered head tube and non-boost, as I mentioned before. Right. This one, we are gonna go up a level in in aluminum, so a little bit lighter aluminum at um, this, the uh, Alpha Gold. Tapered head tube now, so we can get better upgrades in this forward, right. which, are, which, which is, is great. gonna have to happen yeah. at some point. But we have more options with a tapered head tube, and this is a boosted rear. Um, 148 or 140? 140. 141. 141, So okay. a little limited, but at least we're boosted in at the back. At least we're boosted, and yes. this is still a clincher in the back, not a through axle. Correct. So now, as far as that goes. Although we are a light aluminum here, she's a beast. Oh yeah, she is. 35 pounds. And it's because of that damn shot. That, that and fork, the plus size tires. The fork, the tires, the yeah. wheels. 35 pounds for this guy, about yeah. 28 pounds for that guy. Yeah. But again, we're met, we're on the price point level, not the performance level. Yeah, we're very so, similar. Um, they're, they're built for different purposes. And let's talk about that as we get to the conclusion and the, the final on this. Now we talked about last video, this one is a good all around entry level trail bike that can double as an entry level race bike yeah. if somebody was interested yeah, in I racing. I believe that, okay. I truly believe that. And Brandon's good about that stuff. He's not definitely not gonna bullshit. He'll bullshit me, he'll charge me extra. <laughs> we call that asshole tax around here, but he won't bullshit you guys. So, so right, so we know that. Now this one though, this to me kind of reminds me and path bus pedals, I'm stealing it. I'll give you credit though. The party pace. This is kind of that one where you can put, you got your thing and the hydration, maybe you put a little yeah. Rondo bag up front or yeah, something. This is a baggy, baggy this is a baggy short. Yeah, guy. you're just kind of Flats. chilling. Yeah. Flats and baggy shorts. Yep. Don't get me wrong, you certainly could race it if you wanted to. Any, you can race any bike if you want to. Um, but really this bike was designed to have fun, to get through sand, to get through tough, tough yeah. obstacles. Yeah, definitely. More mellow. Yeah. Yep. But hey, get as gnarly as you want to. Again. And I actually like to sell this bike to entry level rate, any entry level person, yes. because it is a great tool for learning how to mountain bike. Yeah, it helps oh, absolutely. quite a bit. Absolutely. Very reminiscent of the Timberjack, which yes. maybe at some point we'll put head to head with something. Mm -hmm. um, just in its geometry, um, definitely more of a relaxed feel and just the way it rides and handles and everything like that. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great all around bike. Bike packing, that's what I use my Timberjack for. So very versatile in that, in that. that regard. So, all right guys, well, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed our second head to head. And the reason we started doing these is a lot of people would ask when we did a single bike showcase, well, how does it compare to this bike? And we're trying to keep these as reasonable as possible and not comparing say a Roscoe six to a fuel EX 9.8 or something like that, which right. would just be ridiculous two different bikes, two different styles of riding and riders as far as that goes. So we wanna to try to keep these as evenly matched as possible on price point so you guys get a great idea of what you can expect, the differences, and maybe help you out in some of your decision making, so. A little bit of the explanation of why we're doing this is because a lot of people say, 
I got fifteen hundred bucks to spend. Right. What can you know? What can what, I get for fifteen hundred bucks? Right. Tax, title, license, helmet, out yeah, the door. All that. So <laughs> that's why I think this is a, a fun way to, yeah, to do this. Absolutely. So, and if Brandon could just get the facts right, it would be even better. Joking. Mm -hmm. You're not joking. I know. You always say that. <laughs> I know. Well, because you always get them wrong. <laughs> it is what it is. We rely on you guys to correct our mistakes. So, go, guys, seriously, we like to have fun here. So, and on that note, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon. Why? Because it helps out the video and we appreciate that kind of support. Secondly, there's a link down below for Check Bicycle Stores of West Phoenix. Follow that link if you have any questions about these bikes, any of the bikes, anything that you've seen on our bike showcases or toolbox topics, Brandon and his crew will be more than happy to assist you in those needs. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, the devil's work, but those links are down below as well. Follow those to keep up on the day-to-day -day affairs of Get Out Arizona. We offer group rides, group hikes. It's a lot of fun, guys. We try to keep it mellow, easy going for everybody to enjoy. And at that point, there's really only one other thing to say. Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards out on that trail. And we have to ask, Brandon, what are you waiting for? Get out of Arizona? Yes, exactly. He got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care. Brandon, we'll see you next oh, week, yeah. buddy.